Did you know that inside Techmatics, you can automate your lead magnet delivery? So you can host your lead magnets, whether they are videos, webinars, courses, digital files, eBooks, download, physical products, no matter what it is that you're doing, you can host those on Techmatics and you can also automatically send those fulfillment emails, follow-ups, check-ins, and even upsells to those products as well. This is the process on your screen. If you want a copy of the slides, let me know so that we can give you the link to these slides. But this is what you would do if this was a file. Um, most people use a lead magnet that is a digital file of some kind. Maybe you've got a checklist, an ebook, a guide of some kind. FYI, people are less consuming courses as lead magnets today. The highest converting lead magnets are digital files, digital downloads, checklists, quick guides, quizzes is another one. So I'd recommend giving them a really awesome digital file or digital download or template of some kind. This is the process you would use. First, you're going to upload that file to your media library in Techmatics. Your media library in Techmatics is basically like a Google Drive. You know how with Google Drive, you can add a document or a file to that drive and Google Drive gives it a link that you can then share with people and people can then click on that link, go to the file and they can download it. That's what your media library is in Techmatics, basically. So you're going to upload your file to your media library and copy the link to that file. Then you're going to create your opt-in form, which is where you actually get people's email addresses. Then you're going to write your delivery email, which will be hi first name. Thanks for opting into my something checklist. Here's the link. Here's the link to get the checklist that you opted in for. Then you're going to create your workflow. The trigger is that somebody submitted that opt-in form. And then you're going to send them that email that you've just made that includes the download link to your file. And then you're simply going to share the link to your form, which is the opt-in form on all of your socials on your link tree so that people can find that lead magnet and opt into it all the time. So real, real quick demo, I'm going to now show you the demo of how you do that. That's the overview of the steps. Step one, let's add it to our media library. So inside your Techmatics account, let's go up into websites and funnels, click on media, open media library. And this is where it says upload file, drag and drop all of your files. Let's say that this is a checklist that I want to share, right? I've made it in Canva. Maybe I've got some cute ebook or e-guide. Simply press open. It's going to just upload for a few seconds over here. And boom, there is the file. When you click on this file, you see it's got a little blue border around it. This link shows up here. Copy to clipboard. That has now copied the link to this file. Habit, always go and chuck it on a new tab. I always open a new tab, paste that link in, and just double check that it works because this is the link to this file. This is a web link that anyone can click on. So we wanna just make sure um, that's working, but we're gonna need to come back to that link in the minute to enter it and hyperlink it into our email. First step completed. We've uploaded it to our media library and we've copied the file link. Now let's create the opt-in form to our free checklist. Let's go back to forms, which is under websites and funnels. Click on forms and form builder, and then press add a form, start from scratch. And all we're going to want is their first name and their email address. All right, do not overcomplicate a freebie. The more fields you give people to fill in, the less you are going to have opt-ins. I personally just have first name and email address, and I make the first name check required. Email address should always be required. You may want to add some kind of disclaimer, like I approve to receive emails from Sarah Cordner, whatever you might want it to be. The button, click on that, and you'll be able to change the color of the button to whatever you want it to be. Scroll down and just double check that you're happy with all the fonts. Instead of it saying button, obviously you're gonna to wanna to say that to get the free checklist. The next thing you want to do is just check your settings. This little settings icon, top right hand side, where it says styles and icons, click on that. Click on options. First, name your form. So I would call this free lead magnet XYZ. And what do you want to happen when people press submit on this button? 
Now, of course, we're going to have an automation behind the scenes, which will send them their thingy. But this is, do you just want a little message to pop up on the screen saying, congratulations, please check your inbox. You can change that however you want. Or do you want to send them to an upsell? If you want to send them to an upsell, click on open a URL. Let's say when people opt into my free checklist, I then want to upsell them to my Legends Lab. So I can simply type in here the link to my Legends Lab, right? SarahCordner.com forward slash legends. All right, now when someone submits this form, they will then automatically be redirected to my Legends Lab page. Just a few little things for you to consider doing. Now, the other thing I always like to do is turn on sticky contact. At the bottom of this option section, turn on sticky contact. What that will do is anyone who is a contact in your system already, it will actually pre-fill that for them. It's just nice to have it there. So it just makes it a little bit easier for people that are already contacts with you. Press save. We now have an opt-in form. How good is that? That's it. You may like to just add a title if you want. So press the add button, scroll down to text, drag and drop the text element, click on it. So it opens up the editing area and type in here, you can change the size and the fonts of everything here. If you wanted to add an image, you can do that as well. Okay, so let me choose an image just for the sake of example here. We can preview the form by clicking preview. So you can see, I definitely wouldn't use that as the image, obviously. Now, integrate, press this integrate button. Click on inline and then copy form link. Copy form link. Again, have it, I always open another tab. Just paste that form link in. This is your public form link. This is what you can now share anywhere. <laughs> We've now got our form link. So let's now go back to our list of what we were doing. We uploaded our file, our lead magnet file to the media library, and we've saved the link. Next, we created the opt-in form, and we've also opened that opt-in form link as well. Next, we are going to create the delivery email. This is the email that your people are gonna receive as soon as they press the submit button. To do that, we go into our email builder. Let's go to marketing and emails, email builder. What do we do when we create an email? Click on master, search for your master. You're always gonna use your master template. There's my master template. Click on the three dots, clone, and this is gonna be called lead magnet Sarah's XYZ free checklist. Okay. Clone. It's going to open up the email and it's going to be just our template. Ta da! Hi, contact first name. Thank you for opting in to get my free XYZ checklist. Here it is. Click here to download now. Remember, in the email builder, we're going to put the link to the file in the email. There's the link to our file. Copy the link to the file. Go back to your email highlight where you've put click here to download now click on link text this is where you add a hyperlink what link do you want to send them to paste the link to our file that is hosted in our media library save you can also if you want now highlight that again make it bold if you want you might like to make that like link a color just so that people can see that it is a link that's supposed to say love me cool save template say boom we now have the email already here we go we've created the uploaded it to the media library we've copied the link to the file we've created the opt-in form now we've created the delivery email next we're going to now create the workflow that will automatically send that email every single time somebody opts into your freebie let's go do that so we've pressed save back to we're creating an automation now automated workflows create a new workflow and start from scratch i'm going to be showing you some recipes in a moment always name it up here and name it the same name as whatever your lead magnet is so this would be lead magnet sarah's free xyz checklist now what's the trigger the trigger is that somebody has submitted that opt-in form the trigger is somebody submitted that opt-in form. Let's head on over here. Trigger. The trigger is, type in the word form. The trigger is form has been submitted. This little name is for you. So you can label this however you want. Free XYZ checklist. Then we need to tell the system which form. Which form have they filled in? So you're going to select add filters. Select the form is 
And then what was the form? It was the free lead magnet for the XYZ checklist form. Save. So you can see there now, the trigger is someone has filled in that form. What next? A couple of habits, I like to tag them. So press the add button tag, add a contact tag. What's the name? That's for you. Um, I'm gonna call this opted into the XYZ checklist. Copy that. And now we're going to type that. What is the tag we want? Add a new tag. Boom. There's a tag. Save. So now they're going to get tagged. Then also remember I said I like to tag everybody with the tag mailing list when they've opted into one of my things because they have agreed to be on my list through the action of opting in. So I'm going to add another tag. Add a tag, contact tag. And this is going to be mailing list. And then tag is going to be called mailing list. Now, if you already have mailing list here, make sure you select that. Don't create a new tag if you already have that tag. Mailing list, save. Now we're going to send that delivery email. Add email. Type in the word email. There we go. Send an email. And what email do we want to send? This bit here where it says templates is where you're going to choose your email that will be sent to them. Now you don't always have to build a pretty email. You can just type your text in here and put your link in here, but we've made a pretty email with our unsubscribe link and everything on it because we're doing cool things. So this is going to be called Sarah's free thing. There it is. There's lead magnet, Sarah's XYZ free checklist. And it will show a little preview there just so you can be sure that's the email you're definitely sending but you can see there it is there is our email we've just made now you may want to action name remember is your reference send the xyz checklist who is it from that's from you this is who they're going to see the word as from in their email inbox what's your email address what's the subject of the email and this is going to simply be here is your free checklist okay and save done we now have created this. We're going to press publish and save. So now when any time somebody fills in that form, they're going to be tagged and they're going to be sent their delivery email. All you would do now is make sure that form for that freebie that you have is shared everywhere so that you are getting opt-ins to your list as often as possible. Add it to your link tree, add it to your social media. Every single post you put out there, get my free thingy add it to the bottom of your email footers, <laughs> add it to everywhere, all of your social media bios, the lot, so that you are getting opt-ins on this thing. That is how you create and deliver an automation on Techmatics and the steps for how to follow it. How cool is that?